Indraloka's most beautiful apsara called Urvasi, Brahma created the most beautiful women of the world. Do you know what's her name? He named her Ahalya. Ahalya was so beautiful that the fame of her beauty spread across all the universe and all the lokas. Indra, when he heard about Ahalya's beauty, he fell in love with her and he really wanted to marry her. So Brahma put a condition. He said the man who will circle the entire universe fastest will be the right man to marry his daughter Ahalya. So Indra went about the universe and he circled the universe and he came to Brahma and he said, no, I've done it. I want Ahalya now. So Brahma said, all right, yes, you are right, you have done it. So you are the right candidate for Ahalya to get married. But then appeared Narad and he said, Bhagawan, what are you doing? There's another man who has done it faster than Indra. Brahma and Indra both were very shocked and they said, who is this man? So Narada said, it's Rishi Gautam. Every morning when he wakes up, he takes a circle of the cow that he has in his ashram. And as you know, all the universes lie in the body of the cow. So he did it faster and Brahma was very astonished and he said, yes, you are actually right. And thus, Ahilya was married off to Rishi Gautama, the most beautiful woman married to a celibate sage. Now when Gautam and Ahilya got married, Gautam told Ahilya that, you know, we are not going to do anything what married people do, we are not going to have sex, we are not going to make out and what we will do is, you will sit with me and meditate every day. The tragedy of the most beautiful woman married to a sadhu. Time passed and uh, Indra, who finally uh, could not get over his defeat of not getting Ahilya, began to stalk her secretly and he used to go to Rishi Gautam's ashram and he will secretly see Ahilya doing her course. One day, Gautam went to the river to take bath and Indra went inside the ashram and lured Ahilya to make love to him. He took the avatar of Gautam and then he made love to Ahilya. Now, whether Ahilya knew that he was actually Indra in the form of Gautam or whether she mistook him as Gautam is debatable, but they made love and there is almost three page description of the love making between Indra and Ahilya in the holy books of mythology. When uh, Indra was uh, when the act was over, Indra was satisfied, Ahilya was very happy that finally uh, she was able to make love to her husband and Indra left the ashram. As he was leaving the ashram, Rishi Gautam comes back and he realizes that what has happened. So he curses Indra and says that you will have a thousand vaginas on your body. You are so sexual all the time that the vaginas will be given to you on your body uh, and he cursed Ahilya that you know you will be frozen in stone for thousands of years and only when Vishnu will take avatar of Ram you will be redeemed of this curse and then as we say that the story defines the territory of the women and women in today's life go through the similar experience of married of being married to a man which is dull and boring and they probably don't like that marriage and there is no love in that. And then there is this adventurous, exciting, passionate love outside the boundaries of the marriage. And she remains frozen at the threshold of the two situations. And that is the Ahilya moment that every woman goes through in her life.